Oh, absolutely. But here we see, man, we've had a hell of a lot of Disney walkout songs tonight. We have. Disney's popular, I guess, down in Wayne. I guess this isn't originally a Disney tune, but they definitely adopted it. We've yep. got The Lion Sleeps Tonight, Preston Star Trek. That's a great walkout choice. I don't think I've ever heard it before. You know, I think it fits in. This is going to be a great fight, and both these competitors have a lot of respect for each other. I love seeing that as well. Great job announcing from Keith No, He's a natural. I think that was his true calling. All right. Oh, yeah. I think he needs to quit promoting and just be a, a ring announcer. I'm down. You know, Bruce Buffer's Bruce getting Buffer's old. Job. Yeah. Keith's getting old, too, though. Yeah. Keith, Keith is a grandpa, if y'all didn't know. <laughs> but enough about Keith. We're here to see a great fight, and here we go. Now, watch that straight right from Starcher. That's what I expect him to be throwing because he cracked Chance Grillet with it. He's a really dynamic striker. Oh, there it is. She's hurt. Brittany's hurt really bad. That left hook hurt her. Yeah, Chance is throwing heat. Or, I'm sorry, Preston's throwing heat. There was that straight right. He landed it. Brittany took it, though, and she's got the body lock. Here comes the takedown, and there it is. Brittany gets it, and she gets rolled. She didn't have her base quite right. Got rolled, but she's cutting back to guard now. You see she's got that knee shield. She's cutting back into guard. Yeah. Walking up for the triangle now. See that? She's wrapping up that high guard, but now she's got to get him right back up. There it is. She's reaching up over the head. Beautiful. Hard from the Lance shots here. It's exactly what we were wanting to see from Brittany is see what her ground game. There it is. There's the arm bar. Oh, wow. Entry. But she, she's just got a leg lock. She's got a toe hold. She's going for that toe hold. Now she's trying to work for the heel hook. Now they're in this, like, 50-50 position, just landing shots. Brittany needs to use it to work to the top. Now they're back on their feet. This is where Starcher wants to be. And I think he's going to be looking to land that straight right again. Oh, man, oh. Brittany just kicked him right in the face with a front kick. Starcher's letting these kicks get to him too much, so he needs to get inside. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Real kick from Brittany Vaughn, and it landed. She's landed some good kicks, actually. Now he catches it, though. He could have dumped her there, but he didn't. Starcher needs to stop letting these kicks frustrate him and get in boxing. Exactly. Range. Because he's got power. That first round you got to give it to Brittany absolutely right. absolutely excellent here we go about ready set for round two guys Starcher versus Vaughn already off to a very interesting start There, there he goes. That's what he needs. He needs to keep crashing in on her, be more aggressive. Here we go. He has a power advantage. I saw that in that first exchange when he landed that. Oh, my God, Brittany's got the back. And he, she's working for the rear naked. She's going to get the hands together. She's got it. She's got it, Elijah. She's falling off, though. She fell off and lost oh, it. Oh, no. She's being a little too – she's rushing a little bit. She had a great position there. Now she's going to get beat up. As long, She needs to – she needs to, she's spinning under and hiding her head. That's really smart. She's spinning all the way around. She's, got a, she's gonna get TKO'd if she doesn't move. There we go, now she's working for a leg lock. Kicked him over, swept him. Brittany Vaughn with back to guard now. 
beautiful job. And now she's got that self-defense guard wrapping up the back of the head so he can't posture and land shots. Brittany's fighting a very smart fight. Even though I think she is physically outmatched a little bit here. Yes. He landed a beautiful left hook there, though. He's right where he needs to be. He's got her head up against the fence. It's really hard to generate any offense from your back when your head's against the fence. She needs to get away from the fence. But there she's throwing up that high guard, trying to work for her triangle. But he's keeping his hands where they need to be. There she is trying to get that hand outside. Now, now she's going for the arm bar. But Starcher's wise to it. You know, he's been caught like that before. I think he's going to. He told me he's been working a lot on his ground game, working on his defense. Right now he's grinding her out, and he's taking this round because of it. See, that's the problem. Brittany's rushing and things, and she's ending up on bottom and scrambles. If she would just lock down her positions a little more clean, you know, and not end up on bottom mm -hmm. on her takedowns, like she had the back there. Oh, yeah. If she wouldn't have rushed that choke, I think she was in a very good spot. But now I think Chance, or I think uh, – Preston took this round because of that. So, going into the third, you've got to think this is probably one to one. Yep. All right, here's round three. Now, I think this round is going to tell the tale. This is the one to one in my eyes. And they forgot. We got oh. chance for Brittany. That's awesome. There she goes with that body lock. She might get the takedown again here if she's smart. Beautiful, and she maintains top position. Oh my God, she's gonna get rolled again. No, but she holds the back this time. She's gonna lose, nope. If she can climb to the top, she's gotta climb to the top. She keeps losing position and scrambles. She doesn't have the arm bar. And Chance is going to get out now and get on top and win this round. Now, Brittany can't sit here. No, I think Brittany, Brittany needs to try to push off the hip here. and get up. She needs to push, put her feet on the hips, get back up, get to a dominant position. Or sweep him like she did in the first round. Brittany needs to get up and reset and just uh, add another takedown this onto the judge. This crowd is card. coming alive for Brittany Vaughn. Brittany's being too stagnant though. She needs to do something. She's in a losing position. You have to do something. She's trying to lock up that high guard now though, looking for the arm bar. His arm's really deep in there. If she can just switch her hips. She's just, she has to switch her hips if she wants to go for that arm. There she is, she swept him. She swept him. Let's see if she can maintain top position. Oh my gosh, Brittany sweeps him. And crucifix. Ends up, she ends up in the crucifix with her arm trap. She's not quite in the crucifix. Now she's gonna spin out and end up in top north south and just start landing shots. She's gotta show these judges something. You just gotta go. Brittany maintaining that top total position until the final bell. That's a hard fight to score. <laughs> Your winner, by majority decision, fighting out of the red corner. Preston Starcher gets that decision. One judge scored at 30-27. That's crazy. I do think that's crazy. 